Welcome to the Motorsport Arena in Oschersleben in Germany. This is the traditional foreign race for the Belcar Endurance Championship, the Belgian National Endurance Championship. So this year it's Oschersleben. We try to be original, somewhere different every year. Oschersleben is a very nice circuit. Uh, we drive here together with NASCAR, so there's always something to do. So this year Oschersleben and next year maybe somewhere else. Oschersleben is new for most. Koen Wouters, Oschersleben. Do you like it? I like it, yes. It's a, it's a technical track. Uh, you have to be uh, intelligent. You have to be a lot of, a lot of patience. Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it too. It's also because I've done a lot of competitions abroad in the past and I miss racing abroad a bit. So it's uh, nice we can still do a race like this every year with the bell car. I really like that. During qualifying, the two Belgium racing Porsches were among the front runners too, no surprise. They qualified in the second and third, but pole position was for the PK car sport Audi of Bert and Stinus Longin. They haven't won a race yet this year in the bell car, but they are leading the championship and they would really like to win this one. We had some electronic issues at the start and uh, had to drive to the pits a couple of times. It's not completely resolved yet either, but we'll figure it out. Uh, the fact is that we drive this car in two different championships with different tyres and with a different tyre circumference, so the car sometimes uh, gets stuck in that. So what do you think of Oschersleben? I really enjoy driving here. For me it's nice to drive on a circuit other than Zolder or Spa and, uh, and this is a top event. In uh, GTB, the GNA BMW was among the front runners and eventually it finished up in second uh, on the grid. Being second in the GTB also means that there are sixth uh, overall. Mikael de Keesmaker and uh, Kino Kenis, but Paul in GTB was for Dix Motorsport in the hands of Cedric Wouters. Cedric Wouters driving his third different car this year after the Lamborghini and the BMW in the 24 hours. He's now driving this uh, Mercedes AMG GT4. At the end we had some luck with traffic, it took some surging at the beginning. Uh, we were able to, do a, to drive one lap well and it turned out to be enough for pole position, that's beautiful. In TA, the Audi finished up in third, the M&D racing Audi of uh, Manfred Verbeke. And second is the leader in the category in the championship, Fred Capras in the Billy Eamon by GNA Racing. The pole position in TA, the big uh, touring car category, was for uh, GTE Racing with that Cupra for Maxime and Gunther van den Over. I'm very blij, a new circuit for... I'm very happy, this is a new circuit for everyone. I'm happy to show that we are fast here as well. Close fight in TB between uh, the BMWs of JJ Motorsport and the IC Motorsport car. Cedric Barton looked to be heading for pole position at the IC Motorsport car, but in the end it was the JJ Motorsport car of uh, Tom and Guido Wax who took the pole. The snelste tijd in TB, maar qualifying uh, wasn't that easy apparently. No, we were given a four lap penalty, but we kept pushing to do four or five fast laps. But in the end, JJ Motorsport just went under our time by four hundredths of a second, I think, which is a shame. But okay, our car feels good. It's a very nice circuit here as well. It's a fast circuit. And I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and hopefully we can uh, have a good race here together with the other BMW. Stijl circuit and I look forward to tomorrow, so hopefully tomorrow is a good race. This is the uh, qualifying result, the Audi on pole then, followed by the two Belgian racing Porsches and the Red Ant racing Porsche in fourth. It's race day then, it's a first two hour and five minute race of the season on the 3.666 kilometer Oschersleben track. Sunny conditions, this should be a good race. Is the field with the yellow Audi and the orange Porsche of Belgium Racing. Steen is at the wheel, Steen is Longe at the wheel of the Audi, and Dylan de Dal at the wheel of the Porsche, and off they are. Good start by Dylan de Dal. It all comes down to the breaking point for that first chicane. And that goes to Dylan de Dal. Dylan de Dal takes the lead away from the pole position car from the Audi. The third is uh, Jos Menten. 
with the other Belgium uh, racing car in fourth, the red and racing Porsche. Followed by the leader in GDB, Seri Quadros in the Dix Motorsport. Mercedes, close fight immediately between Dodala and Longin. And Menton not that far behind. This, this could be a Belgium racing sandwich with the PK Car Sport Audi in the middle. Leaders seem to be edging away here. This might be the shortest race of this uh, Belgian Endurance Championship. Still, you could lose it in the opening laps. They're doing it very carefully, very fair racing there between uh, Dardala and Longin. Dardala taking a very late apex here, the wheel of his uh, Belgian racing Porsche. But Stinas Longin is not that far behind. Longin, of course, a reigning European champion in GT2 with this car. And they're still in the fight for the title this year as well, together with Peter Gullings. Peter Gullings, who is absent here, who should have been driving the Audi as well, together with Bert and Stinas Longin. But due to professional obligations, uh, he couldn't travel to Aschersleben. Stinas Longin getting very close, getting on the inside of the Porsche here. There's no contact, very fair racing there. The, the, the Dalla now has the inside line for the next corner. Sinus holds the outside line, but it's still the Porsche leading. Longin will have to have another go at the lead. Very late breaking there, just a bit off track, some dust thrown up. Meanwhile, Manton is getting closer in the second of the Belgium racing uh, Porsches. And there's the first of the back markers. This could be the size save. The BMW goes to the right, but I think there was a slight hesitation there from uh, Dylan de Dalla. And there comes Stinus Longin side by side towards the first corner. And it's to the advantage of the Audi. Stinus Longin has taken the lead here. Slight contact there. Bumper to bumper. Longin now leading and edging away. The two Belgian racing Porsches probably will not fight each other as long as they're close to the Audi. But Longin looking on. It's very exciting. A very good start for you. But a very good start for you. Yes, I have to admit that Dylan was, uh, was attacking nicely. It was a nice fight with Stinis. Fair as well on the limit. And now we are making uh, some progress. Uh, we have devised a strategy to try to win. We would also like to take that win for uh, for Peter, for Peter Gullings, who unfortunately cannot uh, be here. So uh, let's hope everything stays intact and we can uh, cross the finish line in uh, in first. In GTB, the small GT category. Plenty of BMWs like uh, this uh, 14 car of uh, Alni Max Racing of Alexander Borgmans and Maxime de Witte. Chasing the Hamover Motorsport car of Rob and Chris Verhoeven who are still in the fight for the overall Bell car title due to some class wins. The BMS Motorsport of uh, Nick van Pelt is in third. Trying to chase the GNA Motors by GNA Racing. Of Aquino Kenis and Michael the case marker with the, the case marker at the wheel for the moment. Aaron second in the GTB and sixth overall. But leading the category is Cedric Wadras with this uh, Mercedes AMG GT4. It isn't yellow, it isn't green. I'm not going to pronounce the word that is suited for a Porsche but you know which color I mean and Sadi Guad was uh, finishing his stint giving the car to uh, Jarno Gersens. Cedric Wouters, uh, yeah, Cedric Wouters, everything went well in the, in the green monster. Yes we had a very good uh, first stint the car was very good uh, despite the engine change we had to do last night. Everything is fine uh, the tires also remained performant for a long time so we were able to push and create a good gap. There was a uh, little to complain about. 
GTA, it's a fight between BMWs as well with uh, the PK Carsport with Matisse Lismont in second, the yellow one chasing the Billy Eamon by GNA Racing, driven by uh, Fred Capras. And in third, the uh, Audi of uh, Manfred Verbeke. Very close racing here in the uh, bigger of the uh, both touring car categories. And Matisse Lismont comes into the pit lane in second position. Matisse Lismont, what a, Matisse Lismont, what a wonderful fight I was with Fred Capras. Yes, I did my best. I, I was faster in some parts, but I couldn't get past them for, for a variety of reasons. I'm, uh, I'm happy with my performance. I lost some ground at the end because I had to slow down when, uh, when they were lapping. So I uh, will drive the last end of the race uh, a bit later and then we'll give it a roll again. And there's also the GTA Racing Cooper, of course, fighting with uh, both BMWs. In TB, it's between JJ Motorsport and IC Motorsport. Here's the car of uh, Jana Luhmann and Cedric Bart in the IC Motorsport BMW. But they are headed by uh, Tom and Guido Werks. In the JJ Motorsport category, leading the TB class. Back in Oschersleben for the penultimate round of the Belcar Endurance Championship. This is the Red and Porsche who's in fourth because they had a stop and go penalty of a minute. Pretty soon in the race, uh, Michiel Havrans and uh, John de Wilde. And that does their chances no good, of course. Yes, we had quite some penalties this weekend. Uh, yesterday we lost our two fastest time in qualifying and now we have a stop and go of one minute. There's not much left to do. So stop and go, what happened? Well, apparently we changed tires a little too late, just fell outside the time window, and then you get a stop and go of one minute. And with lap times just under a minute and a half, you know that you will lose almost a lap, and you're out of the game. In front, Estinas Longa is increasing uh, the lead of the Audi, doing the first of uh, three stints. And after one hour of racing, he comes into the pit lane with a 15-second lead. It was a, was a perfect start for you and also a nice fight with Dylan Dredale. Yes, it was, it was a good start and uh, we, we got a great fight. Uh, we, we made contact uh, a couple of times, but it was definitely fair. It was a nice start to the race. Dylan Dredale sharing the 99 Porsche with uh, Michael Cole who will soon take uh, the wheel of the car. Here he is. Getting ready for the second half of the two hours and five minute race. The Dala brings the car to the pit lane in uh, second position, just ahead of uh, the other car of Belgium racing, the 98. We did our best. I think we are P2 now. And now it's just pushing till the end. Jos Menten bringing in the 98 then. With some uh, verve, giving the car to Koen Walters. It was, a mooie race, mooie kunnen vechten met it was a great race, a great fight with my teammate. Uh, I've seen a nice fight in the first few couple of laps between uh, Stines and Dylan. And we were keep, uh, able to keep the distance with the first car uh, small, but it, it still got away a bit. We had agreed not to attack each other in order to stay with the Audi. But now in the last 15 minutes, uh, Dylan and I really fought for position. So uh, it, was, it was good fun. And now the last quarter we have fought for position. GTB, there's still a good fight going on between the BMWs and the lone Mercedes. BMS Motorsport. Still heading for a possible uh, podium finish. Has to fight hard with the Alni Max uh, racing of uh, Borgmans and the Witte and the Hamofa Motorsport of uh, Rob and Chris Verhoeven though. GNA Motors machine still in second. And, uh, Michael Casemarker doing uh, the opening stint uh, of the race, really enjoying himself. It was a nice stint. We had a good start. We could also 
much the pace of the others as well, but after about three laps, I had to let them go a bit. And I tried to follow the Mercedes a bit more when I think we are in P2 for the time being, so that's good. And uh, the car is uh, really top, uh, consistent performance, good setup. I, I had a great time. It's a, it's a very nice circuit and uh, I tried to make it a bit wider than it is everywhere. It's really great. Janne Gus is now uh, taking the wheel of the Dirk Motorsport uh, Mercedes AMG, taking over from Cedric Wouters. It's his first uh, Belcar race, first time he pairs up with Wouters, first time in Oschersleben as well, but he's still leading his uh, GTB category. In TA, the fight between the BMWs is still uh, going on with the uh, JDK by GNA Racing of Julie Kenny's and Juna Jane, the case marker, the daughters of the drivers in the number four car, fighting with the small of the Hamofa Motorsport cars driven by Mark Verhoeven. Manfred Verbeke in the uh, Audi trying to get on the podium, but that is not really easy. In second now, Junior Plankart coming back after a rallying ac accident in the month of June. It's his first race since then in second, but it's still Fred Capras leading in the uh, Bilia Eamont by GNA Racing uh, BMW. Andy Cooper is still in the fight as well. TB is still between JJ Motorsport and IC Motorsport. Jana Luhmann and Cedric Barton are doing their utmost best to uh, match the pace of uh, Tom and Hido Werks, but it isn't that easy. They are slowly edging away. Back to the front then. And as you can see, there's an issue with the Audi after the last pit stop of Bert Langeance with some 30 minutes to go. Just after that, the uh, rear wing came loose of the Audi. And of course, there's no more downforce then. And on a circuit like Oschersleben, that is really penalizing. And look at how close the, uh, the Dala Porsche is now already with Michael Cole at the wheel. Might be a close fight uh, until the end here. They had a 15 second lead, the PK Carsport Audi. And that really looks dangerous as well. And race direction uh, calls in the Audi. Some three laps from the end. It had to take a uh, mandatory pit stop to repair the rear wing. The black flag with the orange uh, ball. And here we go, gaffer tape. That should hold for three laps. And where does the Audi get back on track? They've lost the win to uh, the 99 Porsche. I think the 98 has passed them as well. Of course, Bert Mongin for the final couple of laps, only three laps to go. And uh, the Audi come back on, comes back on track in uh, third position between the two Belgium racing uh, Porsches. In TB, the IC Motorsport, BMW of Luhmann and Barton finishes in second with the win, deservedly going to uh, Tom and Guido Werks in the JJ Motorsport BMW. In TA, the uh, 68 BMW over JDK by GNA Racing finishes in sixth, just behind the uh, Hamo for Motorsport BMW M2 of uh, Mark Verhoeven. Second place goes to Matisse Lismond and uh, Junior Plankard, who are still in the fight for the class title. But Fred Capras takes the win in the Bilia Eamont car, increasing their lead with uh, just one lap uh, to go. And the GTE Racing uh, Cupra takes a uh, third after a penalty. The Hamofa Motorsport car finishes in fourth in GTB, just enough to keep into the fight for the overall bell car title. Third goes to uh, BMS Motorsport of uh, Nick van Pelt. And Kino Kenis and Michael de Kiersmaken enjoyed their afternoon on the German track, finishing in second with their GNA Motors by GNA Racing BMW M4 GT4 to be complete. The win goes to Cedric Wouters and uh, Jarno Gusens in the GTB, taking fifth overall as well.
There's no match for the GT4 Mercedes there. And the overall win goes to Dylan Dodala and Michael Cole taking the win with some 19 seconds in hand over their Belgian racing teammates uh, Kuhn Walters and Jos Menten. Here is the red 98 Porsche. And third goes to the unfortunate Brad and Stinus Longin with the rear ring again coming off. They still hold on to the lead of the overall championship though. Here are those standings with 52 points uh, to be taken at the final round in Zolder. There's three cars that can still become the 2023 overall Belcar Endurance Championship champions. But the win in Oschersleben goes to Michael Cole and Dylan de Dale. Well, the race, you don't wish bad luck to anyone, but you have to keep the pressure up, and you did that perfectly. Yeah, in the beginning, we put pressure on them. It was really bumper to bumper, but then they got into their rhythm and they, they took a gap on us. Not much, but it just needs to be refined in a bit, and then we'll have some fun races uh, next year. Third for Bert and Stinus Longin. Bert, who's uh, happy to get to the finish. Technical problems are always very unfortunate. In the end, we fought hard, but if a wing breaks off, you have to be happy with third. It's a shame, but that's the way it is. Bert, it was very heroic of you without a rear wing and downforce in the fast parts. It's, uh, it's not easy. Yeah, in the, in the first lap, I didn't know what was going on. I almost uh, went off the track two or three times. Then I got uh, Anthony on the radio and then I understood what had happened. Yeah, it's a pity. Stinus had a, had a very good uh, and strong start and we also had the race under control. And when you have to lose like that, it, it, um, it really hurts. It's the first time that I drive Belka. It's the first time together with Cedric and uh, we succeeded in what we wanted to do. I'm very happy with that. First time Belkar and then immediately Oschersleben, how was that? The first time on this circuit too, I had never driven here before. I had uh, two half hour training sessions on Saturday, which took some getting used to. But it uh, turned out well, I'm pretty happy. It was a really nice fight, really close racing. I left him in the room, I think he tried to pass me at least 20 times. But I closed the door every time in a, in a fair way without contact and never pushed him off the track either. And after the race, we shook hands. That's what makes a sprint race or an endurance race great fun. And that's what we want, that's what the spectators want. It, it was a great uh, first stint as well, it, it was really fun. For me, this is my first victory this season because I did not participate in the 24 hours. So, so it's, uh, I, I had a lot of fun here. Just a bit of shame there were so few participants at the start. And then it's time for the cups and the champagne, and we repair for the final round of the Belcom Dunes Championship 2023 round in Zolder. That's halfway through October. See you then.